Hello everyone, I'm Julie Hedges and welcome to live card draw on the tarot journey. I know I sent out um, um, a message just uh, a few minutes ago, less than an hour ago, to let everybody know that I was going to come online at 5 p.m. Central, 6 Eastern right now to do a live card draw for anybody who... Um, who wants to come on so I am in the great outdoors out very near uh, the river it's one of my favorite places to stop over and just kind of debrief the day and um, relax a little bit I like to take a walk and um, so the river is behind me over an embankment and um, so I might uh, be able to um, walk a little bit before I have an appointment this evening, but I wanted to come online and um, do a card draw and say that I'm sorry that I wasn't able to be with you. Hi there, how are you? Certainly I will be glad to um, draw a card for you, Jagger. Um, I want to say that I'm sorry that I wasn't, Mary Ellen, Mary Ellen, thank you. I wasn't able to be with you on Monday for our regularly scheduled program for the tarot journey. Um, the show was going to be about self care and I had to be very honest with myself um, on that day and say that um, I needed to um, I needed to really focus on some self-care. I had some, some things going on and I needed to take care of them for myself and be centered and, and balanced so that when I come to you and we share in our time together that, that I'm, I'm a very clear channel for any messages um, to come through. And on Monday, um, some things were lining up that um, had me pretty um, helter-skelter and I didn't want that to affect our interaction so I needed to very abruptly um, cancel the show and I am sorry if I disappointed anyone by doing that um, and so I wanted to give us an opportunity here to come together just briefly, just for a half an hour, to, to do some card messages because I have missed that. I miss that when I'm not with you. So um, for anyone who would like a card, and I see Linda's here and Mary Ellen, um, you're here. And anyone else, if you just type it into the chat here, it scrolls up. So. Um, I can see who needs a card. And I'm drawing today from, oh, there my camera's kind of, I have myself all kind of buggered up a little bit, <laughs> propped up really funny on my purse because I'm at, in the great outdoors. And I tell you what, it is every bit of 90 degrees, even late in the afternoon. It is quite warm here where I am. I remember the days when I was a kid that September was cool. It was sweatshirt and, and jean weather, but here we go. So today's cards are going to be from the Nature of Infinite Love and Gratitude deck. And so a lot of nature pictures and nature messages. So let me go ahead and get to it. Yeah, I'm gonna shuffle, 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 and I shuffle until spirit pops one out. So. I'm just going to let him shuffle and let him shuffle. So first up is Mary Ellen. Still wanting me to shuffle. Oh, here we go. Oh, I like this. Here you have intuition. Intuition. And I love that caterpillar on there. That big fat caterpillar body. And the card says, no matter which path I choose, being courageous, following my heart, and trusting my intuition keeps me moving. 
intuition nourishes my soul to sing it's time for my awakening oh I love that I love that for you Mary Ellen intuition it's time for my awakening hmm yay wonderful Linda Linda is with us today and this one just popped right up for you Linda right away so here we have peace let me get that centered there with that lovely lotus the word is peace willingness to change is my path to enter inner peace willingness to change is my path to inner peace I am now ready to unconditionally forgive mmm that's a really interesting message. Willingness to change is my path to inner peace. I am now ready to unconditionally forgive. I love that. That's for you, Linda. Miss Carla Jo. Miss Carla Jo had a great class. I saw the, these pictures. Um, online. I didn't get a chance to come up to Michigan. I'm about eight hours away. But I um, was with Carla Jo in March for the Divination Level 1 course. And it was a day full of so many, so many activities and so many ways to get information from the divine source that's what divination means and so her level two class was just this past weekend in Lowell Michigan so congratulations Carla for a great class and yes we will get you a nice card from the nature of infinite love and gratitude deck and just shuffling 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 whoops that didn't want to come out so shuffling shuffling I shuffle until it comes out. So this one is sacred. Oh, don't you love that? Look at that beautiful, beautiful picture. Sacred. This moment is sacred. I am now ready, willing, and able to embrace my inner child. All is well. Oh, Carla Jo, I'm going to say that, that you do a really good job of embracing your inner child. Letting your inner little girl explore and play and nurturing her. So I can just see you kind of frolicking around like, you know how the little deer are behind their mother tromping through the woods or tromping through the yards. They kind of click up their heels. I can see you doing that, Carla Jo. So there you go. There you are. And Mary Zarowitz is here saying hello. So if you would like a card, please, please say yes or card or um, thank you, something along those lines. So Mary Zarowitz is saying hello. So I'm going to take that as um, she would like a card. So I'm going to pull one right now for, for Mary Zarowitz. Oh, I like this one. Here we have Harmony. Harmony with this lovely little bird. Upgrading the energetic field of my body, mind, and spirit to the thriving energy of Mother Earth and the divine consciousness of oneness is a wonderful daily exercise for my soul. I am at one with all that is. Hmm. I love that. And the picture. You know, I'm a, I'm a birding enthusiast. I, I wish I knew more and did more with the birding, but I am a birding enthusiast. So, I love that. These bird songs. Carla Jo, yeah, I missed it. I'm so sorry. I'm glad you had a wonderful time, too. And Carla Jo saying, saw one of my does and her twins from this year with her spots in 
my front yard. Yay! I love that. I love that. And she, Carla Jo is also saying, adulting is too much trouble. Sometimes I let out my inner child. Amen. We're supposed to play. We're supposed to have fun. We're supposed to kick up our heels. Yes. And Elise Miller is here. Hello, lady. You would love a card. Excellent. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what comes out for you. Let's see what comes out. Shuffling. This one comes out. Mm. I love this one. Look at that beautiful, great blue heron. And the word, I think I see the word is free will. Free will. Before I read the back of the card, I just want to share that Heron is um, a spirit animal that is very special to me, and so I've looked that up and in the um, Ted Andrews Animal Speak book. And Ted Andrews says about the great blue heron that it is fierce self-reliance. I love that. And that the heron with his long legs is able to wade into the waters and also take to the air. So the ability to be active in both worlds, the mental and the emotional and the healing and the communicative. So I love that about the heron. The card says, I have free will, a choice with every experience. Today, I choose to own my power. Mm. I love that. Today, I choose to own my power power and you are welcome Mary Zarowitz you are so welcome so that was for you Elise to today I choose to own my power I was sharing at the beginning of our talk today that um, I'm sorry that I wasn't with all of you for the tarot journey show that's on the third Monday of every month and our topic this time was on self-care and that I had to really be honest with myself about self-care and um, kind of do a, a mea culpa, kind of do a, a hands up surrender to what is instead of plowing through. Um, there are times when we do want to be firm with boundaries and firm with our commitments and really follow through. And then there are times when things are lining up in such a way, kind of like doors closing or windows closing, like, ooh, okay, that's a signal that tells me, hmm, not today or not right now. So, I just had to be very honest with myself and do my own work and say it, it was a self-care day on Monday, which is why I couldn't be with you. And part of, part of that is a lot of the current, the current transits that are going on. A lot of you know that in addition to teaching the Tarot and, and writing about the Tarot, um, on the tarot journey, I'm also an evolutionary astrologer. So what does that mean? Um, it means that the movement of the stars and the planets as they support our soul's path of enlightenment and growth and achievement and awareness and becoming. So I'm concerned about the soul's growth through the human experience, which we know it's kind of like for, for my own personal experience as a soul having a human journey, sometimes it feels like having a Cadillac motor put into a lawnmower. <laughs> it's just a little out of sync or, or the, the power is, is not so, how do I want to say, um, well regulated. So it, I kind of sputter and spin out and and just need to um, recalibrate. 
And so that's what was going on um, on Monday specifically. But all summer long, as a very sensitive person, and I know those of you who are with me today and who are watching the archives, you're sensitive too. We are, we are in this community, this uh, Star Nations organization community, and you know we're all very sensitive in a multitude of ways. And I've been following the movement of the stars and the planets all summer long, and, and we've really been lambasted by all of these retrogrades. So I just wanna spend a minute and tell you what the retrogrades are, what they mean and why they are important. So from our geocentric or earth-centered vantage point, so we are here on earth looking up at the sky, um, from our position, sometimes it appears that these planets that are along the ecliptic, so imagine outer space is like a record player. So it's going around like this, rather it's going around like this. And all of our planets are on the ecliptic, meaning they're somewhere along that record, if you're old enough to remember what a re vinyl record looks like. And so they have different rates of speed. And at certain times of the year, it appears from our view that these planets are going backward. That's really not the case. They're all going at their own speed in the circle of life all around the solar system, just like we are going at our own speed all around the solar system. So we're turning on our axis, which gives us 24 hours a day, and we're turning in the solar system, which gives us our year, and then we are turning in our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, which gives us the great year. The great year is all about, oh, you've heard the age of Pisces, that we are transitioning away from into the age of Aquarius. That's the, the great year, the period of over 2,000 years of epics. And um, what that simply means is that the sun is coming up at the equinoxes in that uh, particular sign. So transitioning from the age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius. And please, if you are just joining, um, raise your hand in the chat room there and um, let me know if you would like a card. This is a card draw. So quickly about the retrograde. So it looks from our vantage point that they're going backward. And the ancients had taught that at those times, it's really key for us to look inside. Because just because we have the, the stars and the planets going around and around out there, up there, we have all of these energi energies inside of us too. As above, so below. As within, so without. Hi, Miss Sylvia. How are you? So all of these retrogrades have been happening over the summer, which is really telling us to take a deep dive inward. So if it felt like you're trying to get ahead, but everything's slowing you down, or you're working really hard to do a project and it just seems roadblock after roadblock. Yes, I, I've been there. I've been there. So, Never fear, it's all for our great growth. Let me draw a, miss, a card for Miss Sylvia there. There you, we have one. Oh, I like this one for you, Sylvia. It come, came up earlier, but of course, you know, these messages are, are for you. The universe says, here's your card. So Sylvia, here is your card. I love this, sacred. And I can imagine you out in your beautiful woods, surrounded by all of nature, doing your art and seeing these lovely little creatures. Yay. Sacred. Sylvia, this moment is sacred. I am now ready, willing, and able to embrace my inner child. All is well. Oh, I love that for you, Sylvia. Ready, willing, and able to embrace my inner child. 
And you know what? She, everyone, Sylvia is a fabulous, fabulous artist. I have been gifted with one of her beautiful paintings. And um, she is now really sharing her art with the public and, and selling her art pieces, which is an awesome, awesome thing. Oh, let me get that a little bit closer. So sacred. Your inner child is loving this art, Miss Sylvia. And thank you for sharing it with the world. Elisa saying, next time you come to Michigan, would love to show you a heron colony and share how they live. Difficult to find. Ooh, I love that. So sacred and secreted away. Mm, I love that. So there you go, Miss Sylvia. Your card is sacred. And you can probably see people walking behind me. Um, there's a walking path right up here um, along. Uh, the museum is this way. I'm sitting at a little table here propped up so I can do my cards. But right behind me is, is the lovely Ohio River, one of my favorite sit spots in downtown Evansville. And um, so people are getting their exercise. You might see rollerbladers. You might see um, joggers. Here comes somebody jogging. So Elise is saying, you look very lovely today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, Sylvia is saying, that has landed on me with much love. Thank you. You are absolutely welcome. Absolutely welcome. I wanted to, to take a few minutes out and um, do a little card draw as a giveaway, as a thank you for everyone who um, does healing sessions with me, reading sessions with me, who reads my articles, who engages with me on the Tarot Journey page. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I want to say I hear you when you share your stories with me, either online or personally in text or on the phone about the challenges that you have been having, especially this summer. Just feeling like, feeling like we're on a treadmill, trying to run, run, run as fast as we can. But it seems like the, f <laughs> here he is, the forwarder we go, the behinder we get. I think that's from Dr. Seuss. I don't know. The forwarder I go, the behinder I get. That's what it's felt like over the summer with all of these retrogrades, all of these planets telling us, go within go within go within and my article for the September edition of Star Nations magazine I'm a contributing writer I share every month in Star Nations magazine I do a combined tarot and astrology article but the astrology section well really the whole article is um, is about the upcoming Venus retrograde the Venus retrograde and that is coming on October the 5th through November the 16th it's a period of 40 days about about 40 days and that's a significant period of time and you probably know that period especially if you read some of the sacred texts like the Bible the Israelites were out in the desert for 40 years. Jesus went out into the desert for 40 days and fasted before he had his in encounter, his death and resurrection. Some say a literal death, some say a symbolic death. And also in the Old Testament, it rained on Noah and his family for 40 days and 40 nights very significant period it's not just it's not just a made-up number it's not just a, a made-up time period Elise is saying I love your articles I edit for Star Nations you are great thank you I appreciate that and Elise yes the um, the Venus retrograde is going to start right on your birthday right on your birthday so what does that mean Again, this retrograde means to go inside. But what does Venus mean? Well, all of us have Venus in our bodies. 
What do I mean by that? Well, the veins that pump the blood through your body back to your heart. Those are ruled by Venus. Your veins are ruled by Venus. Energetically and spiritually, Venus rules your possessions or your valuables. What you value. So that can also mean things that you appreciate, things that you enjoy. And also your self-value or your self-esteem, your self-worth. And you can kind of distill that down into two very specific, very specific arms of Venus. Love and money. <laughs> Love and money. So guess what is really going to be on the table for all of us to take a deep dive into starting October 5th through November 16th. And that's just the retrograde period. I'm here to tell you that the actual whole part of Venus retrograde started at the beginning of September in what we call the shadow period. And you might be thinking, oh, shadow period, what does that mean? It means kind of like, get ready, get ready. So let's say you've decided to go on a vacation. You're gonna go on a cruise. So you've picked your destination and it's getting a little bit closer. So, oh, well, you have pets. So you need to make sure somebody takes care of your pets. So you get that all lined out. And oh, you've been saving all along, saving all along for this cruise that you're going on, this trip, and it's getting a little closer and getting a little closer. Now you're gonna start planning all the outfits that you're gonna take and how many bags and, and are you gonna get travel sized toiletries and, and all of those little things right before you board. So guess what? We're in the time right before you board the ship to go on your cruise. That's what the shadow period means of Venus retrograde or Mercury retrograde or any of the retrogrades. There's a shadow period. It's like the time leading right up to the time that you board the plane or you board the ship and sail inward, right? Because the retrograde, again, inward. Thank you, Carla Jo is saying, yours is the second article I read each month after my own. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Carla Jo. I love that. And I love to read and share other people's work. I learn so much from this community. Yay. Elise says, never seem to hear too much about October birthdays or Libras. Well, here you have it. This is really going to be a focused time for you. Um, so for you, Elise, the Venus retrograde is turning around right at the time of your solar revolution. You're going around the sun and, and here Venus is going to tell you to go within and look at love and money. And by this, we mean Venus rules the sign of Libra. So I'm going to talk a little bit about Libra here for you. Libra is that sign all about balance and harmony. Balance and harmony, especially in partnerships. So that one-on-one -on -one connection, you and somebody else. So that's you and your boss or you and your supervisor, you and your spouse, you and your lover, you and your bestest, bestest friend. So those one-on-one -on -one relationships, that's the Libra domain. And there's a lot of mirroring going on with the Libra energy. It's about where is the me in the we? That's what Libra is always figuring out. Where am I in a partnership? Where is the me in the we? If it's you and I, baby, where do I fit in? 
So in this time, here we have Venus telling us to go within and be balanced in love and money. What we enjoy, what we appreciate, how we show others that we are to be appreciated. How we show others that we are to be honored and held in joy. So this may be a time when partnerships are under review. It may be a time when money and how you use money, how you view money, how money works in your life is coming under review. All these things that are for your soul's evolution. Yeah, all of those things. Linda saying her birthday is October the 7th. Well, I love, I love, love, love all of this Libra energy that we have going on here. Mary Ellen saying, I, I didn't know anyone else with that birthday. You're the first. So there we go. Hmm. Venus and Venus retrograde telling us to go within. So let me do a card for Venus Retrograde that we are going to spend that time, that 40 days, really examining deeply within ourselves about love and money, what we enjoy, how we appreciate, how we show up in a partnership, how we honor ourselves and honor that partnership, and how grounded we are. Do we know what we enjoy? Can you name five things that you enjoy? I think that would be a wonderful, a wonderful place to start if you are kind of, I'm going to say if you're challenged right now, if there are places in your life that are throbbing and, and weak and aching, can you try to go in, go within, and ask yourself, and ask yourself, what are five things that I enjoy just for the sheer reason of enjoyment? Just because I enjoy them, not because they're going to get me this place, or not because, oh, so-and-so likes this, so yeah, I like it too. But me, I enjoy. Yeah. Here's a card for Venus Retrograde. What can we expect to learn about ourselves in this time of Venus Retrograde? Oh, I love this. and I love this, and you're going to love it, too. First of all, it's a yellow swallowtail. I think one of the most beautiful butterflies. I like the monarchs and the blue morpho butterflies too, but the yellow swallowtail, look at that. And the word is appreciation. What do you appreciate? What do you enjoy? Mm. So here is what the card means. Appreciation acknowledges the value of the road I have traveled. It recognizes the courage and commitment it takes to create lasting change. Yay! So here we have appreciation. Valuing the road we have traveled. Sometimes that's difficult, isn't it? Especially if we are traveling a road that's full of bumps and potholes and roadblocks and, and seeming mud puddles and I don't know, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. <laughs> Appreciating the value of the road that we've traveled. I love that. A good card for us for Venus Retrograde. Yeah. Did I get everybody who wants a card? I know there's a lot of chat here in the chat room about birthdays and... Libra birthdays, October birthdays. So let me know. 
and I have really appreciated this time and I invite you all to uh, stay tuned a little bit later for Polly Joe's show her Wednesday night show is called Soul Connections on Star Nation's organization Be Live program and what I like about that is it is true healing it's self-healing she's just kind of a a director that says try this and try this and try this you know maybe kind of like a flight attendant of would you like peanuts would you like a drink would you like this so yes hello Karen Barton you're new yay welcome I am drawing cards this evening drawing cards for just because just because I've missed it, just because I haven't done a live stream in a while. And so I'm glad to draw you a card, a little message of nature empowerment. So Karen Barton, welcome. Let me draw you a card. And the way that happens is I shuffle, shuffle, shuffle until one pops out. And that is the card. So it's still telling me to shuffle. Here I'm shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Mm. Oh, this is good. We've had this one, but it's good to see it again. Yours, Karen, is harmony. Harmony. Just like the bird's song. So, harmony says, upgrading the energetic field of my body, mind, and spirit to the thriving energy of Mother Earth and the divine consciousness of oneness is a wonderful daily exercise for my soul. I am at one with all that is. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is for you. Elise is saying the monarchs are endangered. She read an article where asking everyone to plant a milkweed to bring them back. I love that. You know, I have um, a local master naturalist friend, and I know a couple of other Facebook friends who are actively participating in, um, in um, bringing them back to life. And they, they have their own nurseries. So they have little caterpillars that are, that are being birthed into uh, butterflies in their homes. They have the little butterfly cages. And watching them emerge and brand new life, I just love it. Now is the time, of course, where the monarchs, especially the monarch butterflies, are making their annual migration. So the monarchs um, they're here in the Midwest, here where I am in southern Indiana, of course, but they're even way up in Canada. And so they can make a trek, just flying those little, bit of, little bitty butterfly bodies, all to this very um, specific location in Mexico. In Mexico, on one side of one mountain. And they all flock around these trees in a particular kind of tree. Now, I wish I remembered the mountain and I wish I remembered the name of the tree, but I think of it as the tree of life and they stay there all winter long, just clinging to the tree of life. So they start their migration. Um, they start their migration. It can take them two months to get down there. And they usually are arriving in this town in Mexico by October 31st or November 1st. So Halloween and um, All Saints Day or the Day of the Dead. Dio de sois muertos. So Mexic that town in Mexico anticipates them every year and tourists from all over the world go there to greet the monarchs as they, they come by every year on their way to that sacred mountain, on their way to um, cling to the tree of life until it's safe to go back home again in the springtime. I love that. I love that. 
Debbie is here. Yay. I will draw a card for you, Miss Debbie. Thank you for, for joining us today. We were talking about butterflies since we had a butterfly card. These are nature messages today. And so I'm shuffling until I get the right one. Oh, this one we've had too. We've had a lot of repeats, but they're good. They're good repeats. So here we go. For you, Miss Debbie, your card is Harmony. Harmony. And yes, Carla Joe, you are right. Samhain is the Celtic New Year. I love that. And my little kitty cat that I have at home, her name is Samhain. So Debbie, your card is Harmony. Upgrading the energetic field of my body, mind, and spirit to the thriving energy of Mother Earth and the divine consciousness of oneness is a wonderful daily exercise for my soul. I am at one with all that is. Beautiful. At one with all that is. I love it. I love it. Now, I don't know what time it is. I know I said I'd stay on with you um, for about a half an hour. And if there's anybody else that I missed through the live stream, um, all they need to do is type their name in the thread. And I will pull a card later. I do have to go across town and, um, and take some pictures for somebody this evening. But I did want to stay on with all of you and give you a little update and a card draw. One thing I want to share next week, of course, is the full moon, the full moon in Aries. And I love the poetry of the poet named Elon Shamir. He's the one that has advice from a rock, advice from a tree, advice from the ocean, advice from a butterfly. And I want to share with you tonight, tonight, advice from the moon. And it says, live life to the fullest. Be someone to look up to. Don't be phased by difficulties. Take time to reflect. Enjoy a little space. Honor the cycles of nature and light up the night. So that's a little advice from the moon from poet Elon Shamir. Stephanie, I see you. I'm going to draw you a card and um, send it to you, but I'm going to sign off because it looks like I've been on for a little over 30 minutes and I know we are all busy in our evenings and I do have to be across town. So let me sign off and close as I always do with may the peace that surpasses all human understanding be with each and every one of you. Om Shanti and good night.